What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys some more Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet Regulation D casual battles. In today's video, we're going to be continuing our tear showcasing new Pokemon and Hisuian Pokemon. In today's video, we're rocking out with Hisuian Arcanine, a really cool Pokemon, rock and fire type, and it actually pairs up perfectly well with Shin Pao. You guys already know the deal, if you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video, and if you're not subscribed to the channel, get on top of that, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. If you guys want to support me a little bit extra, definitely consider becoming a member by clicking the join button down below, and there's also a link to become a member in the description below. But like I said, Hisuian Arcanine, really cool Pokemon, it's basically Arcanine, but rockier? I don't really know how to explain it. It's really cool. I actually like its design a bit better than Arcanine. I don't know why. I just think it looks a bit cooler. But even though Arcanine looks absolutely amazing. But this Pokemon is a great physical attacker. Like I said, pairing it up with Shen Pao works perfectly because it learns to move E-Speed. But first Pokemon for today's team preview is going to be Fluttermane. Fluttermane is still going to be a Pokemon in Regulation D that is going to be top tier. It has Protosynthesis and a Life Orb as its item, Rocket Protect, Dazzling Gleam, Shadow Ball, and Moonblast. Arcanine is going to be our second Pokemon and it has the Rockhead ability alongside with the Choice Band as its item. It's got Flare Blitz for Stab, Head Smash for Heavy Stab Damage, Extreme Speed for First Turn Priority and Big Time Damage, and Rock Slide for its final move. We got Urshfu in our third slot in Urshfu gonna be one of the best when regulation d is here it has unseen fist hit through protects assault vest as item rock and surgeon strikes aqua jet close combat and u-turn rocking in our fourth slot we got rillaboom over here and rillaboom definitely got a little nerf from its sword and shield days by taking away grassy glide but i still feel as it's a pretty strong pokemon it's got fake out alongside with the grassy surge as its ability so you can take terrain you can make pokemon flinch it's really good all around there's leftovers as item and then its other three moves are knockoff wood hammer and u-turn in our fifth slot is the one and only Shen Pao. Again, Shen Pao can pair up with Arcanine really, really well due to that first turn priority move of Extreme Speed. Shen Pao has got one of his own with Sucker Punch, and then his other three moves are Protect, Ice Spinner, and Sacred Sword. Final Pokemon on today's team is Tornadus. And Tornadus, you can't go wrong with him. I'm telling you guys, up until the DLC comes out, because we did see Pokemon that are coming out in the DLC, and Whimsicott is one of them. So, up until the DLC comes out, Tornadus is going to be the best support Pokemon. He has the Prankster and the Curver Cloak as item, Rock and Rain Dance, Tailwind, Sunny Day, and Bleak Wind Storm. Guys, if you want to rent this team for yourself, rent the code is at top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that casual ladder. Let's grab some wins with this Hisuian Arcanine team. We're loading up match number one, and like I mentioned in the team preview, that uh, the Pokemon Direct, or not Pokemon Direct, Nintendo Direct showcase a few Pokemon that are coming in the DLC. Whimscott's one of them. There's a few other really cool one, cool ones. So if you guys seen any in the uh, in the trailer, let me know your guys' favorites in the comment section down below because I'm super excited for when the DLC comes out. It just feels like a brand new game comes out. Plus, you get a bunch of Pokemon to use on the ladder. It's always a ton of fun. But we're hopping into our first match, and we're going up against an all. Hisuian team pretty much, right? They're all Hisuian Pokemon, but Ursaluna is not considered Hisuian. It's just Ursaluna. It's its Pokemon of itself. But we're going up against Hisuian Sneasler. Alongside with Hisuian Gudra, Hisuian Zoroark, Hisuian Typhlosion, Hisuian Braviary, and Ursaluna. How should we play this one? How should we go into it? I'm kind of leaning towards just going in with you and potentially you, right? I feel like just Shen Pao Arcanine could work really, really well. So I am going to lead both of them. I didn't want to see this thing's stats. Its speed's pretty decent, but its attack stat is insane. It is insane. 189 was that? That's wild. That is actually wild. But you know what? Actually, I'm just going to lead Tornadus, take complete speed control of this game, and then I'm going to go into... I'm going to go into Choice Band Arcanine. I feel like that could be really good. And then Shen Pao. I like it. Urshfu in the back end. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in match number one. But something I forgot to mention during the team preview is I want to give a huge shout out to the team creator, Andy LA. Thank you so much for making this team and making it a rental code. I will be linking his channel down in the description below. So if you guys want to go find the Poke page for his team, it will be on his channel. So definitely go check it out. But they're going to end up sending out Sneasel. And this was what I was kind of worried about. This is kind of why I went into Tornadus was the Sneasel. It can fake me out. It can get off some big time damage. So I really do like having uh, my boy here. So I'm going to Tailwind. And you know what? I am just going to Terrastalize. And the reason I'm going to Terrastalize is because a ground move could really do me dirty. So I'm going to Terrastalize and just E-Speed. Right? I'm not trying to deal with a ground move. But I'm going to be choice in E-Speed. 
I mean, that's kind of fine. I don't mind it too much. Actually, my choice in the Flare Blitz instead. Yeah, yo, let's just Flare Blitz this Pokemon down. We'll see what they want to do. But yeah, I'm not trying to take a ground move and take some big time damage from that Ursulina. I, I'm just, I just don't want to deal with it. So I'm going to Thrasilize Arcanine right off the rip. Just go straight normal type and choice span into a nice lovely Flare Blitz. So Flare Blitz coming at you guys with the choice span. It's stab. It's going to get some big time damage. But no fake out comes out here, which is kind of weird, right? Definitely throws me off. No fake out comes out here. Flare Blitz is going to fly over into Sneasler. And it's going to drop it. It is going to drop it. No Focus Sash. Arcanine getting after it early on here. So Ursulina goes for that Will-O-Wisp. That's totally fine. I'm actually really cool with that. I'm actually really cool with that. It goes for the Will-O-Wisp in the Tornados, which is not a problem for me. I don't really mind it too much. And from here, I might just hard swap Tornadus for Shen Pao, just so I can get off some big time damage. But Brave the is going to come out here, and this is where I wish I could drop some rocks. This is where I wish I could do it. But from here, yeah, you know what? I'm just going to hard swap in the Shen Pao. I really do like this play, and I'm just going to go into Flare Blitz. And I'm going to finish off Braviary, because I know I can Ice Spinner in the Ursaluna and get off some big time damage. So I'm with just dropping Braviary here. But yo, Hisumi and Braviary look sick, but I heard it's not too good. I heard it's not too good on the competitive scene. Still definitely got to try it out. It looks absolutely amazing, so I can't hate on it. I cannot hate on it. Cause look at, just look at its like top of its head. It's got the colors going. Woo! Looks so dope. It looks so dope. But he's gonna end up withdrawing Ursuline. This actually works out perfectly. Because I'll get rid of Braviary, no problem. And he's not gonna attack us. Wait. Oh my god, one of them is Zoruk. One of them is Zoruk. That is wild. So this one is actually the real Ursuline. The other one is Zoruk. And I just <laughs> used his suing Zoruk. And this really threw me off. This really threw me off. So this one triggers its guts. I still feel as we're sitting pretty decent here, right? And our Arcanine is just ripping. So, actually, no, this one's the Zorg. Yeah, this one's the Zorg, this one's the Ursuline. So now we know which one's which. Now I'm going to rip into an Ice Spinner in that slot. And I'm going to try to get rid of the Zorg with this. So right now we're thriving. And our opponent just ends up canceling the match. We sweep them. We take no damage besides burn. And we start off 1-0. So far, hot start from your boy. We started off 1-0, and now we're hopping into our second match, and we got a real problem on our hands. Really tough team, Shen Pao, Dragonite, Urshfu, Tornadus, and then Rillaboom and Fluttermane. So pretty similar team to us, right? Like, we both have the Tornadus, we both have Rillaboom, we both have Shen Pao, we both have Urshfu. And we both have Fluttermane. The only difference is in our teams is Dragonite and Arcanine. Only differences is right there. So this is going to be a good battle. This is definitely going to be a good battle. Um... I could go Tornadus right off the rip. Hopefully he's maxed out in speed, and he's not. So I could get taunted. I definitely could get taunted. But I feel as maybe going Tornadus and Shen Pao could be a pretty solid lead for us. I do feel that. I also like Arcanine with the rock typing. You know what? I'm going to lead Arcanine. I'm also going to lead it with Shen Pao. Really like that. I like that. So you know what? I'm going to go into both of them, and I'm going to bring... Urshfu in the back end, and last but not least, I just think having Tornadus for some speed control later is going to be good. Obviously, I want to lead it, but I just I just like the Shen Pao arc and I lead. I think first turn priority could definitely come in clutch for us, and maybe they might just go speed, or maybe they might just taunt my Tornadus, so there's really no point of me going into it. So if they want to Tailwind, they can Tailwind. I can rip up with some big time damage. But the good thing about Arcanine is it is rock type, so if they're going to go for, like, say, an E speed with Dragonite, I'll be not very effective to it, so I can soak them up, eat them up, no problem, and get ripped into the match from there. But let's see who they end up leading, because, again, this one's going to be a close match. Anything but Rillaboom, right? I mean, Urshfu kind of does me dirty, too, but I'm, kind, I'm fine with that. I am fine with that. So I am going to Terrestrialize. I might double down into... Do I rock slide here? I could rock slide. I could rock slide. But I'm thinking of just Terrasalize and East Speed and Urshfu. I could also Sucker Punch that slot. But I'm thinking of just Ice Spinner and drop into an Honest. I think that's a fine play for us. Because one, if we Terrasalize here, I do not see Urshfu KOing me unless he hits me with a close combat. And on top of that, Shen Pao has Focus Dash. So I kind of like this turn. I really do. So I'm going to Terrasalize my Arcanine yet again. Try to get him cooking. E-Speed's coming at you. E-Speed's coming at you. And if I had to guess, that's probably who our opponent has in the back end. Dragonite Shen Pao. For the most part, right? Unless they're trying to have some fun with it. 
We'll see how this one plays out here. E speed's gonna fly. How much damage are we doing this thing? Let's see, Arcanine. Oh yeah, we we like that. We like that. Tailwind comes out from him. Show me you're going for a surgeon strikes into my Arcanine slot. Go ahead, go for it. Yep. And can we eat that? We should be able to. We should be able to eat that. We should we should be good here. We are indeed good. So great terrestrialization from us. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Chen Pao is gonna fly in here with an ice spinner. Lovely, and we're just gonna drop Tornadus. So we are sitting pretty good. I can East Speed into whoever I want. I can Sucker Punch into whoever I want. I think we're sitting really nice here. Let's see who they're gonna go into. Fluttermane potentially? I feel it's Fluttermane. It's Fluttermane time, right? And we have Tornadus in the back end to eventually take speed back for later usage. But I think we're chilling. I think we're doing good. We still have Urshfu as well. I really like our positioning here. So hot start from us. Getting some big time damage off on Urshu and KO and Tornadus at the same time. And we didn't lose a Pokemon, which is beautiful. It is lovely. It is lovely. I'm curious to see if this Urshu has Aqua Jet, right? That would be a problem. Dragonite now comes out here, pot potentially terrestrializing it, right? Probably, maybe, potentially. Um. Yeah, we gotta go East Speed here and. I'm just gonna ice spinner down the slot. I'm gonna ice spinner. Let's see what he does. Terrestrialization? Yeah. I should have taken sword. I was thinking about it too. So he terrestrializes in the normal. Yeah, I definitely should have taken sword. And he's gonna e-speed me down. So actually, I'm gonna go down to Sash with Shen Pao and I'm gonna lose my Arcanine, correct? Makes the most sense. Yeah, e-speed's gonna fly. He's getting rid of my Arcanine. Yep, and then he's gonna close combat probably into my Shen Pao. Which I will sash up, and then I can, I could Tailwind and then Sucker Punch him if I want to. This is actually going to be a really close battle. There's the combat. Ooh. So close combat flies here. Um. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Uh 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 uh. My spinner's going to take off more dice skill, which is good. That's some big time damage. And then from here, we got to go to an artist. So Tornadus comes out here, we still have Urshi Ursh. We still have Urshi Ursh. Okay, so do I Tailwind here? How many turns left in their Tailwind? Probably one, right? It's two. That kind of hurts that it's two. Um, I'm just going to go for a Bleak Wind Storm. Do I see him KOing me? Probably not, right? I think I just go for Bleak Wind Storm and I protect you. Unless Urshfu can KO me with certain strikes. I'm gonna hope it doesn't. I'm gonna hope that it doesn't KO me here. Cause Tailwind's really gonna do nothing. He's first turn prioritying me. It's just tough. And you're gonna- No way you're doubling down into- No way you make that read. Okay, that- That's fine, I guess. That's fine, I guess. Because if I can land this Bleak Wind Storm, it could be very good for us. Bleak Wind Storm does land. Can I KO the Dragonite? It does. Okay, so that's big time right there. I was going to say, if he read a Protect and doubled down into my uh, Tornadus, that would be huge. But he still did read the Protect. He was just going after my uh, Shen Pao with that, which was very, very smart on the Urshfu slot. But now, I'm sitting here with Tornadus. Um, I got Urshfu right here. And he's gonna go Rillaboom. Ooh, ooh. Do not like that. We do not like Rillaboom. We do not like Rillaboom. And from here, do I even have to Tailwind? I know I outspeed after this Tailwind turn. But is it worth going for one here? I wish I had Protect at this point, right? I don't really think it's worth it. I think Bleak Wind Storms are play, right? I think we just Bleak Wind Storm and we go for a U-turn. And actually, Close Combat does more damage than U-turn. So, I'm gonna rock with Close Combat. Knockoff comes out here. I'm going for the Close Combat. I'm dropping my defense though, which kinda sucks. Can we just KO it? Can we just KO this thing? 
Can Aqua Jack KO? That's the real question. Actually, I should outspeed it here, right? I should outspeed the real boom. Actually, we might, we might be fine. There's no first time priority moves, right? What are you, 140? You should be faster. You should be faster. I'm gonna say it outspeeds. I'm gonna just go for a close combat here. We're not killing with Aqua Jet. And yeah, we outspeed. Good game. Good game. That was a solid second match right there. Came down to the wire. If they had Shen Pao, they probably would have beat us. If it was like, uh, if it was Focus Ash. But hey, we take that 2 0. Let's hop to a third. Look for that perfect right here. Final match on its way, and that second match was real solid. Glad I got that one on recording for you guys. We're 2-0. Your boy's buzzing, hopping into our third one, and we're going up against another solidly strong Regulation D team. The only thing I would change about this team is I would swap out Murkrow for Tornadus, because Tornadus is just better, but maybe our opponent does not have Tornadus. So Murkrow's still a solid Tailwind setter. They got Moltres, they got Cresselia, Ursaluna, Urshifu, and then they got Reggie Draco and Murkrow. Um, they can go Trick Room, they can go uh, Speed, they can really do anything they want. And at this point, I think just going Shen Pao potentially and Arcanine is just such a solid lead, right? It just seems really, really good. So I'm going to go into both of them and I might bring Tornadus in the back end. I might, but I might not. I don't think I need him. I don't think I need him. I really don't. So I'm going to go Rillaboom. I'm going to go Urshifu in the back end. I don't really think we need Tornadus because I believe they're going to try to get off Cresselia and say like Ursaluna turn one. So we'll see. We shall see this. That's who I believe they're going into. Because I don't think they're going to go Murkrow if I have Tornadus on the field, right? I just don't really see it happening. We'll see what they want to do. We will see. They're going to end up leading Urshifu and Murkrow. And they do they do end up doing that. Okay. Um, That's fine. Uh, I could double down first turn priority into... That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to go first. Oh. Actually, I'm just going to uh, Ice Spinner. Actually, I'll just Sacred Sword you down, and I'm going to Thrasilize and drop a Rock Slide across the board. Choice Ban into Rock Slide. This should be good. This should be good. It's not the Water Urshifu, but I still want to Thrasilize into normal typing. Actually, I sh probably shouldn't have, right? I shouldn't have wasted my Terror. I kind of thought it was, it was the Water typing at first, until I, after I clicked my moves, but... Since it's not the water type, we really didn't need to thrash there. We really didn't. But it's all good. I, I don't mind it too much. I don't mind the normal terror. It's just such a solid terror type. I mean, he still hit me with a close combat and dump on me, but I, I feel as we should be fine. Iron Head's going to end up flying there. Wow, that's a big time damage. But we're fine here. Sacred Sword is going to absolutely rip into you. And Murko seems to be going for an attacking move. And we get a crit. Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. A little bit of crit action. And if we go before Murkrow, he's dead. Yeah, Murkrow, you're dead. See you later. Stab, super effective. Next to Shen Pao, Choice Bandit. Come on, man. Yo, Arcanine's actually ripping in today's video, which I love. This thing is shredding opponents. So now he goes into Cresselia, and this is the final Pokemon. And Ursaluna. Okay, so Ursaluna might protect me. might try to get off Trick Room. I feel like from here, we just throw some Rock Slides out. And we're going to double down to Cresselia. Cresselia is our one problem. Don't want to pop in Trick Room, right? So he ends up Terrasilize. Show me that's Cress. Show me that's Cress into like fire or something. Something that I can rip into. It is Cress into what typing? Electric. Okay, that's actually just like it. That's just such a solid uh, typing for it. Nice little electric. So he, d he ends up not protecting Ursula, so we could have just ripped into it. So we go after Cresselia. Rockside is going to go. Can we get some flinches on these guys? Maybe a little bit of flinches. Maybe a little bit of flinches. Nope. And this in calm mind sets up. Okay, so we pretty much have this one on lock. I thought they would set up Trick Room, right? That's fine. That is fine. EQ's flying. That's scary. Good thing I do have normal type in our Arcanine. Shen Pao is a goner. And wow, that damage. Almost KO in Arcanine. He gets a crit. He gets the revenge crit, I should say, considering we just got one. But from here, now I can just go into my boy. I can just go into my boy, Rillaboom. I can get rid of you. I can drop a wood hammer on the Ursaluna, drop a rock slide across the board. Game, set, match, pretty much, right? I could fake out if I want to, but I don't see the point in doing it. I do not. So, rock slide attacks. Who dodged it? Crest dodges it. The one Pokemon that we were going to KO with rock slide. 
And then Woodhammer should be able to clean this one up. Yeah. So that was my plan, was the Rock Slide just to land on the crest, take it out, and then have Rillaboom just dump on uh, Ursaluna like that. But we end up missing. Makes the match a little bit longer. And he goes for a Lunar Blessing. Dang, yo. We shred it in today's video. We shred it. Especially Arcanine. Choice him into Flare Blitz match number one, he was shredded. Choice him into E Speed match number two, he was ripping through a pose. And then choice him into Rock Side here, picking up some crazy damage and some big time KOs. You gotta love it. You gotta love it. But from here, I'm just gonna stick with my Wood Hammer. Stay choice into my Rock Side. Battle was canceled. 3 0, another perfect record for you guys. All my members, let me get a LeBron James emote in the comment section down below because that was too easy. Come on, man. That's too easy. 3-0 absolutely shredded through the casual ladder with this Arcanine team today. One last huge shout out to my boy Andy for making this team. He made it pretty perfectly. I absolutely love it. You had everything that a Pokemon team needs. You got the Urshfu. You got the Arcanine. You got some support from Tornado, Shen Powder, Parapult, Arcanine. And they got Rillaboom and Fluttermane, who are just good in most situations. So this team was absolutely amazing. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos get live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread positive today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.